I'm back, my friends. I have two for one. The book of James. James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. And James 4, 10 says, Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for these two verses of Scripture out of James. They teach us a lot, Lord. We need your help. We need your guidance. We need your directions. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. James is one of my favorite, favorite writers. <clears throat> he was in the inner circle with John and Peter. Collectively, I think they wrote eight books of the Bible, the New Testament. Power pack books, too. Peter wrote one and two of Peter. James had one book, and John wrote five. John wrote the gospel, which was a dynamite gospel. And he wrote first, second, and third John, all good books, especially first John. And then he wrote the book of Revelation, which is one of my favorite books. So I'm partial to um, the inner circle. And um, I'm going to be all over the Bible. I will get to the Psalms. I know a lot of you like Psalms. I get requests there more than any place, really. Let's examine these two verses of Scripture. James 4, 7 says to submit yourself to God. That's number one. When you submit yourself to God, you give your life to Jesus Christ. He becomes your Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit takes residence in, in your life. And now you have submitted yourself to God. You have the power then to resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. You see, he would love to get inside you. But as a Christian, he cannot do that because the Holy Spirit's there. So he'll bomb you from the outside as much as he can. You just remember, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. James 4.10 is a wonderful word of scripture. And I want to emphasize this. God loves, loves humility. True humility. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. If you're really humble, if you're really kind, if you're really have it together with God. I, I had a video not too long ago about his loving kindness is better than life. That's in Psalm 63 in verse 3. He loves it. He loves it when you're kind. He loves it when you're filled with love. He loves it when you're humble. And yes, he will lift you up. When it's time, talked a little bit about time in the last video. We don't predict time according to our timetable. The only thing that we can know for sure is that God will do things in his timetable. Humble yourself in whatever you do. If you are a housewife, humble yourself in that situation. If you're a housewife that works, humble yourself at work. Humble yourself, um, you men out there, in, in what you do. You don't have to prove how big and strong you are and this and that. No. God's not impressed with that. God is impressed with your desire to please him. You please him and he'll please you. See, he gives always more than he gets. Two scriptures. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And humble yourself in the sight of God and he will lift you up. You would do well to read the book of James. You would do very well. Let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father. It was a short video, but really a good one. Those two verses of scriptures are two of my favorites. I don't know how many times I've said James 4, 7, but many, many times. I love you, Lord. And I pray for all of these people that are listening 
to get right with you. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'll see you after a while. You have a wonderful day. Praise God. He's the one that gave it to you.